Hey guys, Will here with Create Studio, and today I'm gonna to show y'all how to use the freeze frame effect inside of Create Studio Pro. So this effect can be applied to video clips and animations. All right, so in my timeline, I've got a video clip already here, and let's play it back and take a look, and it's a, it's a race car going across this corner here, and it's kicking up a bunch of dirt and debris. Now, I wanna go ahead and find a good spot to create this freeze frame effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag my cursor and scrub across until I find a good spot. And I think that's gonna be a good one right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my clip now, come up to my canvas, right click it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on snapshot. Take snapshot out of that list of options there. All right, so once you have that done, under media and my files, you'll see that Create Studio Pro has created a snapshot of the exact spot where your cursor is right now. All right, so once you see that, go ahead and left click on your snapshot and drag it back into your canvas. All right, so you can see that it added your snapshot to your timeline here, and then your video clip is still here down below. But with your snapshot selected, you'll notice a couple of things. One is that the snapshot itself is smaller than the canvas size. So we need to, to expand that out and make it as big as the canvas. So you'll see some options above your snapshot image here and there is an expand icon and go ahead and click on that. And then once you do that, it will expand it to the size of your canvas for you automatically so you won't have to manually resize it. It's pretty nice. All right, so once that's done, it's very important because if you don't do that, it's not gonna look right and you're not gonna want that. All right, so let's go down here to our uh, actual video clip and I'm gonna have it selected and we need to cut this in half right where our cursor is. So with your video clip selected, you're gonna come over here to cut and go ahead and click it. So now it's cut and there are now two video clips made. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this second video clip out to the right a little bit. And I just need to make enough room to insert my snapshot here. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this down and I need to make sure it butts up against the first one. You'll see that little yellow line that lets me know it snapped right to that the butt of that one. So now if I play it back, you'll see it comes across screen and then freeze frames and we're good to go. All right, now I need to determine how long do I want this freeze frame to last? So if I expand it out even more, then obviously uh, that's, it'll be there for a longer amount of time. Now if I shrink it in, it'll be a shorter amount of time and that's kind of the, the look I'm going for. So I'm gonna put it about right here and then I'm gonna drag that second clip that I'd cut and I'm gonna butt it up against my snapshot there. So now if I play back this sequence, it should give us the freeze frame effect we're looking for. Bam, there's a the freeze frame and then it kicks off again. So that's kind of a cool way to utilize the freeze frame effect within a video clip. Um, so now let's talk about how we can utilize this with the animation itself. So let's come over here and I've got an animation sequence built out and I've got this skateboarder kid and he's gonna go ahead and skate across the street here on um, this nice little cafe area, right? So there he goes and I wanna use the, uh, the freeze frame effect and kind of make more of like I can take snapshots of individual elements across the screen here. So, and I'm gonna use his character to do that. So let's show y'all what that looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag him across so he starts about right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on this animation clip. And then I'm gonna come to my canvas, I'm gonna right click on him. And then I'm gonna click on take snapshot. All right, now it added to your media and my files, it added the snapshot of him right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag him into the canvas. And now this is a little different because I'm making duplicates of him. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag him and line him up with that first location of the animation here. So I'm gonna go ahead and line him up. And if you wanna zoom in, you can zoom in a little bit and then get that lineup properly done right there. All right, so now when I play this back, he's gonna come across screen and then he's gonna duplicate himself and then keep skating. So that's kind of a cool effect that you can do and you can do it again, right? Um, and give it like that a second duplication. So if I drag the cursor and find a good spot I wanna add it to about right there maybe, um, then I'm gonna click on my main animation track. I'm gonna right click on this again on my canvas, take snapshot, and it's gonna create a second snapshot. So then I'm gonna go ahead and find that second one right here and left click and drag it back onto my canvas. And now I can realign him with that second animation and I'll zoom in to find the right spot there and there we go. And so now when you play it back, he comes in and duplicates twice, right? Now we can do it one more time. And let's have him kind of start off right or end right there, right before he leaves the frame. And then I'll come down to my 
animation track and then I'll right click on my canvas and then take snapshot and then take that final snapshot, drag it onto my canvas and line it up with that third animation. And then again, I will zoom in just to make sure I'm lining up correctly. And then let's go ahead and punch out and see what that whole sequence looks like. All right, so we play that back. There he goes, duplicates himself, and that's how you do it. All right, now we can do one final thing and we can have him kind of reverse uh, himself and then he'll erase all of his characters. So he'll kind of look like this, right? So to set that up, we need to come down to our animation track and we need to add another set of position points. All right, so here's our first set, which allow him to go from left to right. Um, so I need to come and pull my cursor about right here. And then I'm gonna right click on my um, animation track and go to add animation, come to properties, and then go to position, all right? Now what that did is it added a new set of position points, an in point and an out point, a set of keyframes. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that first new keyframe endpoint, and then go just select on my animation over here. Now what that did was it just told Create Studio Pro, hey, my character is now starting here and he's gonna end over here. So I'm gonna to click my end um, keyframe point and then I'm gonna drag him back across right here, just like that, right off a of frame. All right, so now it knows that once it's done ending here, it's gonna come back and start there and then he's gonna reverse himself and go back across, all right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and expand out this to make him a little faster. Let's see how fast he's going. And boom, he's going pretty quick. All right, so I'll make him a little slower. And then I'm gonna double click on these keyframes real quick and I'm just gonna adjust the easing and make it linear just for a smoother transition across screen. Um, but now I know that he's gonna come across and skate back. All right, now to properly make those other um, snapshots disappear, I need to come up here, I need to drag them out so they're the length of the entirety of the was on his way back. So now let's, let's show you how to do this. So I'm gonna pull the cursor back. As he reaches that first one, that equals this one right here, right? And then obviously the middle one is this one and then that very last one is this bottom one. So I'm gonna come up here to this first one Find out exactly where he's about to hit right there and then trim it to about right there. All right, that's kind of let's spot at which he hits that point. And then go again to about right here, right? And then trim that till about right there. And then keep going a little bit more till he hits that last final animation and then trim that in. So now when you play it back, he duplicates himself all the way to the end, and then he's gonna reverse himself back. Boom, boom. And of course that last one there's a little off, but we can probably correct that maybe by hitting it right there. Let's see. Bam, bam, bam. It's a little better. All right, so you can fine tune as you go, but that is how you can utilize um, the freeze frame effect with animations. So hopefully you all got some good quick tips out of this. Um, I can't wait to see what y'all create and I'll catch y'all in the next tutorial.